shoot the jumper, but shoot and drive. That's what he needs to do against Will Purdue. Let's see if he does it here. 10 on the clock. There's the drive. Exactly, Carl. Wait and listen to me, baby. The only <laughs> thing Will do, Purdue can do to Carl is to let him go. Depth for them. Well, in this game, they're averaging 12 seconds to shoot in their offense. The difference is they're five up now. Excuse me, six or seven from the... Carl Malone, seven on the shot clock. Malone's going to shoot that face-up jumper over David Robinson. And he's shooting it really easy. 7-2 run, San Antonio. Matchup works better this way, apparently. Carl Malone, he's hit three in a row from the perimeter, has eight points, and is four for six from the floor. I got news for you. I've been in rhythm before, and you can tell when a guy is feeling his rhythm. Carl Malone is feeling rhythm right now. In about a minute earlier than he usually comes into the game for the Utah Jazz. Five to go in the first period. Five-point Jazz lead. Malone driving past Purdue. <laughs> so he shoots the jumper over Robinson. He drives on Purdue. In his array of shots. Duncan has five points. Malone gave up the ball. Got the bounce. And did you see that move? Tend to shoot from alone. They're playing him single coverage. He's got to be dominant offensively. Kicks it to Foster for a triple. And if you take a note from Shaquille. Jazz by three. Game to one leads in those series. Malone from 15 feet. And Carl has 14, his first points in a while. That affects soccer heart. Carl Malone with 13 on the clock. He waited to see if anybody was coming to him. Jaron Jackson didn't step up. Robinson couldn't get there. So Carl now has 16 points. He's 8 of 13. And the Jazz, who led by as many as 11, have that lead cut to four at the half. There's the matchup with Malone and Robinson. The only thing that's equal are the minutes. Opening moments, third quarter. Jazz lead it by four. Malone, who had 16 in the first half, oh. opens up with that fadeaway. Even in this ballgame, the big disparity so far in the game has been free throw shooting. And the Utah is out rebounding San Antonio. The only thing that's business as usual is Carl Malone. <laughs> 20 for Carl. And I'm relatively quiet. This is as quiet as you can keep 28,000 rabid Spurs fans. Malone backing in on Duncan. The double team comes and Stockton hits the triple. The triple team came and then all of a sudden Malone has two guys to go to. Now the shot clock at 10. With six seconds on the shot clock. Robinson backs away, and Carl is not going to miss that shot tonight. He has 22. Led by four at the half. Tim Duncan has 15 in the game. Only 10 yesterday. There's Carl again with that jumper. Oh, he is really... He, the manipulation of the wrist that we saw apparently involves some kind of hypnosis. I tell you what, you're talking about focus. Look at his eyes. Look at his face and his body language out on the floor. The man is here to do business. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Malone over Purdue. Carl Malone has 26. Nobody's been able to stop it. 69-62 Utah. Stockton denied the paint. 10 to shoot for Malone. That's from long range. <laughs> 28 for Carl. Woo. Now back to a nine-point lead. Carl Malone is 14 of 24 tonight. A lot of times it's the time that when you decide to play big, Ostertag giving him some good minutes in this half of basketball, and particularly in this quarter. Malone again, a pull-up 20-footer, and Carl has 30. <laughs> Seven. Malone with the fake in the shot. <laughs> Carl Malone! What a performance! 32 in this game. Stockton back to Malone. Why not? 34 for Carl.
what a difference two days can make. Yesterday, nothing would fall. Today, everything would fall. What happened in the last 28 hours for yourself? Well, just try to get away from basketball and not read any newspaper, not watch any of the TV because I know how bad we played as a team and I didn't shoot the ball really well. But what I've tried to do was stay with him, what we tried to do. We didn't change a lot. It's just, it's just an opportunity to just shoot the ball with some more rhythm and not think about anything. Just go out and play the game and uh, do the best you can and stay within our system. I think last game, I think I started out kind of rushing it. This time, I kind of let it come to me and I wanted to make that adjustment. It was a great team effort by everybody and uh, it was a great win and a hostile situation. And like I said, it was a nice win for us and uh, really exciting to see.